Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. Well, I'm making this video to kind of answer some more questions that I've gotten on the video entitled Preppers Beware. Preppers with a technician's license beware. The whole purpose of that video was to kind of warn the preppers that uh, a lot of them think, went out there and bought a little HT uh, that doesn't transmit very far and basically disappear. We never see them again after the licensing session. Never see them again. Uh, never hear them on the radio. Uh, they come in, they take the test, they pass the test. The FCC test and uh, that's the last we see of them and a lot of times uh, we even see them with the little handy talky radio uh, at the class and they're asking questions about it you know which we answer no problem uh, but from that they uh, they basically disappear into the woodwork now, what I have a feeling is uh, from looking around the internet at some other videos where other preppers are recommending that uh, people get a license and go out there and buy a handy talkie, they're really doing them a disservice because those little radios don't transmit very far. It really depends on terrain and line of sight. Uh, you know, I've had some comments that said, well, you know, I was on the side of a mountain and I was transmitting all over the valley. Well, yeah, that's right. That's line of sight. <clears throat> Most of us don't have mountains in our backyard. And uh, the downside of that is, yeah, you're going to transmit below you. Uh, probably pretty well, but uh, it's not going to go anywhere else. Uh, it's just going to go line of sight. You're not going to go over the top of the mountain that's behind you. Uh, it won't go there. Anyway, a uh, suggestion was made during the video to just study a little bit more and uh, take the next step and get yourself a general license that will open up for you to practice on all the HF bands which are regional, statewide, uh, USA-wide, worldwide as far as uh, transmission range goes. <clears throat> This will prepare you a whole lot more for some kind of uh, uh, grid down situation. Uh, and it gives you the opportunity to practice. That's the main thing I was trying to get across is that now you have the opportunity to practice long distance communications and especially to practice some of the digital modes of HF radio, which I feel are going to be widely used if there really is a grid down. A lot of the communications will be digital in nature, uh, be something like PSK31 or uh, uh, RTTY, there's going to be some CW in there. You know, and this gives you the opportunity to practice those digital modes uh, that I just mentioned and learn how to uh, operate those modes. Some of the other comments I got were, well, were, uh, where you're going to need to buy a whole lot of equipment. It's going to cost thousands of dollars. You're not going to, uh, you know, and uh, you got to have an amplifier. And no, no, you don't. Some of these digital modes only need 20 or 30 watts of power uh, to transmit virtually anywhere in the USA and to Europe or uh, into the Pacific. So <clears throat> that's really not true. And as far as an antenna is concerned, 
a simple piece of wire, a dipole to antenna that you can make yourself for just a few dollars is really all you need for an antenna. Nobody is going to be using an amplifier during a grid down. Uh, the power requirements are just too high for, a, for an amplifier. They're not going to be using more than the 100 watts that a normal HF radio has, and more than likely 25 watts or 10 watts or something like that. They're not going to be transmitting at high power. Uh, and in the case of these digital modes, you don't have to use high power. So take my hint. And if you're out there and you're a prepper and you bought yourself an HT, that's all well and good. I've got three back here on the shelf. Uh, but as I've said many times, uh, I use them uh, really for local communications, very local, and to work through a repeater, which the repeaters won't be there in a grid down situation. A whole lot of them are not on backup power, so they'll be down, just like the cell towers. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, you're going to be out of luck to transmit across a metroplex area. Your signal won't be heard. So, I uh, hope I can encourage some of the people that uh, really came unglued at me uh, they thought I was bad-mouthing uh, HT radios and bad-mouthing what people were using. And I think they, they either didn't watch the whole video, uh, maybe just read the title and, and commented. I don't know what they did. But during the video, I even made the comment that you don't need a license if you're going to just transmit uh, short distances locally. Just get a CB radio, and you, you're going to be able to do the same thing that you're going to do with that handy talkie. You don't have to get out there and get a tech license. Uh, CB radio will do the same thing as that uh, little handy talkie. But if you want to learn how to communicate region-wide, then you need to step out there and get the next level of license, which is a general license don't need an extra license uh, to do what I'm talking about. Just simply a general license will give you the permission to practice uh, on the HF bands. Yes, I know, techs have a little section of 10 meters uh, that they can transmit on, but right now during solar minimum, uh, 10 meters is very hit and miss, and, uh, you know, signals are not getting out on 10 meters 95% uh, of the time right now. Only uh, every once in a while there'll be an opening, and uh, for a very short period of time, uh, that's totally unpredictable. So uh, we're in solar minimum right now. will be for about four or five more years before it starts picking up again. Uh, anyway, uh, get out of that 10 meter band, get on 20 and 15 and 80 and 40. And, uh, you're going to be able to communicate uh, region wide uh, without much problems uh, using uh, not a whole lot of power and not spending a lot of money on the equipment. It's uh, kind of a misnomer that you've got to go out there and spend thousands of dollars on equipment. Uh, and right now is a great time to buy an HF radio. A lot of uh, new radios coming on the market and, you know, uh, folks want to upgrade and they've got their... Uh, five year ago model for sale. There's nothing wrong with the radio. Works perfectly. They just want to upgrade. And they're selling those radios right now at a, a kind of a fire sale. Uh, for example, I've seen a Icon uh, 718 uh, 
which is a basic HF radio that you can buy new for about $600. I've seen those as low as $400 right now, and I've even seen a few guys selling them in the $300 range. Uh, so, you know, we're not talking thousands of dollars. We're talking uh, the same price as a cell phone. So, uh, with that said, I hope I <clears throat> added a little more in information to my preppers with Tech License Beware video and uh, <clears throat> not suggesting that you don't have an HT, but uh, and suggesting that you uh, do some practicing on HF and then you'll really be ready for a grid down to be able to communicate just about wherever you want to communicate to. Uh, that's my advice to you. Anyway, with that said, as I usually do, I wish you clear skies in 73. Hope this helped you a little bit. And keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. Everybody be good. Don't beat up on me too bad. See y'all later.